Paul, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. It's first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Rafael Asensa! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for me. You ready? You ready? Let's go, the fight is underway. We're gonna see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on films from either guys in their UFC careers last I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. What a body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, that's a good right hand. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Big kick lands. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Back and forth we go here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Nice leg kick land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful. 
body kick. Big head kick. Oh, straight right. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Sun Sao gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, that right hand is on point. A Sun Sao gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Strike there by a sunset. Throws the right hand there. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these guys. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Big head kick land. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by a sunset. Just a slip there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Across the 30-second mark in our opening round. Twenty seconds left. Look at the turtle in that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Five minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next okay, round. Two, two, High two, number two. of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, a huge block there. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice job there by Rafael Asuncao. He's still staying home at Georgia to train with his brothers, Junior and Freddy. And if it's not broken, no need to fix it. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Going 
the body there with the right kick. Lands with the left. Big leg kick lands. Well, Sun Sao gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Pretty good right hand. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the flight. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Big kick land. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Massive head kick. Just over three minutes to go. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, big head kick. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. Nice. He hits him. Nice counter left hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just unable to quite find that range. There's no give on that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh! Let's get going. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Seconds to go. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reaction from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. He missed with that jab attempt there. Here's the kick blocked by Asun Sao. Lands with the right hand. Asun Sao's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Liver kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch lands over the top. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big head kick lands. Strong defense there to block the shot. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. The Sun Sao gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Nice punch by Lee. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Way to hide that leg. They kick. continue to exchange. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Not there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. But he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lynch. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at him with his hips into that kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. You gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 15 seconds to go. Ooh. Seconds winding down in round three. Nice punch by Lee. What a fight so far. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. 
He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful strike. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Nice leg kick. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Nice slip and then the counter for good measure. So making good use of that reach advantage now. A lot of clinch work here. A Sun Tzu's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Head kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. Over and over, he's landed with big body kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Sun's out kick is blocked. Nice body kick. Visibly limping here. Straight punch land. There. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Great punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Back and forth we go. If you don't know when that leg kick's coming. Under two minutes to go. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. A lot of clinch work here. A sun has all sorts of... Whoa! Oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well-placed kick there by a sun Gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Head kick. Good stick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. And he caught the kick. Powerful leg kick lands. And continues with the inside leg kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. That's a big strike right there. Back and forth we go. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice kick. 
Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Look at him working at trying to shut the limit up. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, round, but it ready? does excite me for the next round. All right, the action continues here, and now as our next round gets underway, and man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting. It's pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Leg kick. Big hip kick! Bone! Oh. Oh. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Ooh, big shot lands. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this match. Sun Sao gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Right hook to the head blocked. Nice head kick. Punch lands over the top. Caught that kick there. Big head kick. Oh, the outside of that lead leg, the left thigh, really showing signs of bruising now. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. A real quick leg kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Connects with the right. Nice kick there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. That was something. Nice. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Lee gets hit with a kick. Tables inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big, big land. One minute to go in the fight. Nice body right under the elbow. 
While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Big kick lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Effective punch there by his sunset. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Lee gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by a sunset. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48 47. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you've got to go to the 